Welcome to the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now. I'm John Cozy. Just about four months into 2013, and the U.S. stock market is off to a blistering start, posting double-digit returns that most would be happy to see for a full year. This quick move is making a lot of people nervous. One thing's for sure, the higher market wasn't because the global economy is getting better. There's trouble with gold related to the Cyprus bailout and continued slow growth in China and Europe, including bellwether Germany. Higher stocks and slower economies have some market soothsayers calling for a market correction, if not a downright bear market, although maybe not as bad as the one in 2008 and early 2009. What can we learn from that big decline? Starmine developed a model called Smart Holdings that reverse engineers the buying and selling behavior of fund managers. The model takes fund manager buys and sells and ranks 25 fundamental factors for each manager. Combine this for all managers and you get a pretty good idea which factors are in and out of favor each month. Taking the factors that worked in the last market meltdown, we use Starmine to screen for stocks with those same traits should that happen again. Here's what we found. Factors like solid earnings growth, stable return on equity, a reasonable cash flow to price ratio, and debt to interest coverage were all important. 23 names made the list we ran. 10 of them actually beat the S&P 500 in the September 2008 decline to the March 2009 market bottom. Becton Dickinson, a global medical technology company, shows some of those characteristics. The price to cash flow value of 10.8 is below the 10-year median of 11.7. That level for the coming 12 months is even better at only 10.1. Add in high return on equity values and you have the type of financial strength that builds more confidence. Thanks for watching. I'm John Cozy.